Hi, this is Darren from Property Prosperity. Today I thought I'd have a little chat about how we can add some value to our house. And when I explain to you what these three things are, you're going to think it's ridiculous and you think, oh man, obviously everyone would do this. But it's amazing how often if you go to a um, open inspection or look in a house on the internet for sale, how often people don't actually do these three things. And literally, it won't cost you anything and it'll make you, you know, at least tens of thousands of dollars extra value into your house. So. The first thing you, I suggest you do is just get rid of all your crap, just just declutter it's called, just taking everything out of your house and I know it's quite hard to do that when you're living in the house so you know I've had some clients actually move out of the house and it's, and it's even more difficult to do when you've got tenants living in your house so um, other times I've had uh, you know we've kicked out the tenants so we can make the house as, as clean and um, decluttered as possible but if you are going to continue to live in the house then you're just going to have to understand that's just something you're going to have to deal with really. Um, my example, if, and the question is, you know, should I keep something and should I not keep it? If you're sort of 50-50, the answer is no, don't keep it. My advice to people, if you want to have an idea of what a house looks like when it's decluttered, then go and have a look at a display home for a, for a new home, you know, a builder's display home. You go in there, you sort of know no one lives in the house. It looks really nice and you can, man, this looks amazing. Hi, Prasad, thanks for joining. Um, but you know no one's living there. And I, and I know that people can't live like that, but the benefit of decluttering your house and getting rid of all your crap is that um, it just makes the house look cleaner and look so much bigger, and it makes your house look so much more appealing. And again, because it looks a little bit less personal, but the good thing about that is that sometimes people may or may not like some of the things you have in your house, and the less things we have, the less things we have to offend people, I suppose, or, or they might not appreciate. So... Um, again, it doesn't necessarily mean there's anything wrong with your house or, you know, the problem is nowadays it's just so cheap to buy stuff and there's so much stuff, um, you know, Christmas and birthdays and everything, Easter and every all these different holidays where you're getting stuff all the time so it's easy, easy to accumulate a whole pile of stuff but my advice to you is just get rid of it, get rid of all of it. Um, if you still want to keep it, that's great, then but just find somewhere to store it um, but otherwise understand if you leave all that stuff in your house, it's going to cost you money. So the second thing that's going to... Um, once you've decluttered your house, like get rid of all the rubbish, or not rubbish, um, your your pres uh, treasured possession possessions, I would suggest the next thing you should do is just scrub your house to make it as clean as you possibly can. It's easier with a newer house. When you scrub them, they're going to look a lot nicer. Um, but with an older house, even if you do scrub and scrub and scrub, sometimes it still doesn't coming up looking as new as it otherwise would. But the more money, the more time you can spend scrubbing your house, the the more value you're going to add to your house. And if you sort of can't be bothered, then obviously you can you can pay someone to come in and do it for you. But just have them understand that you're selling this house and it has to be in mint condition. So they have to they're going to charge you more money to make it in mint condition rather than just a, someone that comes in and does a, a quick clean of your house. So let them understand they're going to have to put that time and effort in. You probably always you're going to find that people aren't going to clean it as well as you possibly can because. You know, for you, it's it's money, extra money. It's potentially tens of thousands of dollars in your pocket. So you're always going to try a hell of a lot more harder than someone you're going to pay a hundred dollars or something to come and clean your house. So my advice is probably better if you do clean it yourself. Um, but I understand it's a bit of a hassle to do. But understand it's you know what's relative wise. You know, going to work if you're earning thirty bucks an hour, or fifty bucks an hour, a hundred bucks an hour, whatever you're earning. Just understand, you know, you can spend a few hours cleaning your house and add tens of thousands of dollars to the value of your house. So if you equate that back to an hourly rate, it's definitely worth you doing it. So that's the second thing. Um, first thing is get rid of all your stuff. Second thing is scrub your house and make it look ridiculously clean. Third thing is just do your garden. Like clean it up as well as you possibly can. Ditch all the old... Um, plants that are looking a bit overgrown. If you're not really sure, you think, oh, this is a pretty nice one. I don't really mind it. I'm not really sure whether other people are going to like it. There's a few little dodgy bits on it. And you're not really sure. The answer is probably just ditch it. Because if it, if you're not 100% on this looks amazing, then just ditch it. And then it's so cheap to buy. You can buy, you know, $2, they call it potted color, like little $2 plants with some flowers on there. It's so cheap to put in some new plants. They probably, they might not last very long, but just rip all your old plants out, put in some cheap plants. If you can't, then that's great if you haven't got the funds to do that, but just tidy up, you know, just like cleaning your house, you scrub it as much as you possibly can with your garden, do exactly the same thing. Clear everything out and make as, you know, a few, you have the less plants the better because they're going to be feature plants then rather than having a big scrub of plants and then it just looks a bit messy then. So the cleaner you can make your garden, the better. Probably my number one tip is just 
water your lawn and mow your lawn. It doesn't cost you very much to do that. Like it's just some water. And particularly in summertime when all the other lawns in the area are all dead because no one wants to water their lawn because it's 42 degree weather in Adelaide it is. Um, that's the that's the perfect time to be watering your lawn. Just water it every single day. You're gonna by the time you put it on the market, you're gonna have this lush green lawn. Every other house they've gone and look at is dead brown lawn. So your house is just gonna stand out more than every other house. And it just shows your attention to detail and the fact you really care about your house. And again, you've only done it for the for the open inspections to get ready for the open inspection, but it just shows you care a little bit more than other house. And again, it's just that first impressions matter. So if they look at your front lawn, they say, Wow, this looks really impressive. That'll go a good way to them thinking your rest of your house looks really impressive too. So, so that's basically it. You can see you don't have to spend a lot of money, and you've got to you're going to add tens of thousands of, of dollars to the value of a house when you go to sell it. So number one is clear out all your crap. Number two is scrub your house as clean as you possibly can. Number three is just tidy up your garden and water your lawn. Water the hell out of your lawn and mow it and make it look amazing. You know, you don't really have to just buy some fertilizer, whack it in there, and it'll come up crazy looking green without a lot of effort. So. So thanks for joining me. I've got a comment here from Debbie. So very true, Darren, with selling a house not so long ago, the three points of advice you gave us was perfect advice. Thank you, Debbie, for your advice, uh, for your feedback. And so yeah, it's amazing how you don't really have to do that much and it's gonna make a massive difference. There is other things you can do which cost you money, like painting the house and you know renovating the house and, and new carpets and a whole pile of different things. Obviously marketing the house really well and all that sort of stuff. But those three things, they don't cost you almost no money and it's gonna add huge amounts of value to your house. So hopefully you take my advice. If you've got someone's thinking about selling the house, um, then click on the share button. I'm sure they'll find it useful. And again, you're putting money in their pocket basically. So um, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And if you've liked what I had to say, click on the like button. If you haven't liked it, click on the like button anyway because I'd really appreciate it. And if you have a question or comment you'd like to make, then put it in the comment box. If you had something you'd like me to talk about in the future, then click on the comment box and say, hey, talk about this, and I'm happy to talk about it in the future. Thanks, guys. I'll talk again soon. Bye.